guys happy Saturday Woo! well we're going to go test drive that red van that I was looking at and uh, see what we think pretty red Corvette I'm a nervous wreck I don't know People, I don't know why why you, you under I can't possibly understand why somebody so nervous when they know that they can get a new vehicle they don't have to pay a payment they're paying cash I know it's just that it, much oh, baby. <laughs> let's go guys let's go you tell her to are, relax people they're Jeez. coming with us and let's go see what we think yeah I already this is her new ride people so you see this coming down the road you know it's a crazy chicken lady She's got a fancy booty. <laughs> Actually, there's my car right there. That's the one I'm getting next week. We got the proud owner of a new minivan. <laughs> Town and country, the country girl. Okay. Look at that smile on her face. Let's go thrifting. Where would you put it? Okay, you guys. We bought some lunch. We're gonna share it. And uh, Timmy oh, Hortons I'm people. Still in the hey, <laughs> hey, she's still in the fog. I'm still in the fog. <laughs> she bought her minivan. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. So we got. Show them what we got, hun. I got. Uh, we got the wedges. We never had this before at all. From Tim Hortons. A BLT? BLT, we're splitting that. She says, I don't feel like a sandwich. I says, okay, honey, I'll give you half of mine. <laughs> I could use eating you halves. Said we need to cut back. I, I, I can get used to eating halves instead of holes. Here. Look at her. She's got the whole thing of wedges. <laughs> She's already stealing. Oh, I'm so... The only thing is, okay. where should I put these? Oh, here, you want to put some ketchup on them? Put some all over you, baby, and make you sassy. I can't get it till Tuesday because Monday is a holiday in Canada. People need to be with their families. It's family day. The funniest thing is the government makes it uh, family day. And with me being in a union and all these government people they get it off and everything but we don't get it off they don't get it off i had it booked off we used to get it as in the uh, in the health care but see they changed it it used to be heritage day i think it's better heritage day than family day because heritage is the heritage of your country but is what it day's is good yeah, if you're government. People need to spend more time with their family. Right? Oh, wow, That's guys. That's why the world's so screwed up. Family first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a funeral home. I know. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funeral home in here in Ontario. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have my water. It's under your purse. The wedges are good, eh? I don't know, you've been eating them all. <laughs> I haven't even put my lips on one. Oh, that's good. That was hard to find a van that I wanted. And yesterday, it was so crabby and everything. Mm -hmm. Because she didn't want to go out. I didn't want to go out. And good thing I dragged her out. I had to put her in a straight jacket, throw her in the van, 
and then we got the she wouldn't have got her van today she don't get it till Tuesday but she wouldn't uh, got the deal she got and mr. suave <laughs> what was that for nothing mr. suave got her a thousand bucks off and an oil change <laughs> because she didn't want to speak. She was so overwhelmed with her new purchase. Yeah, so I have to wait till Tuesday. But that's okay. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm gonna have to put up with you till Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> All I can say is I'm just glad this van started for me. Or we wouldn't have got this deal. Why? Well, I had to go around my little butt butt. Next, we look for a truck for Bruce. So, we're going to look for a truck for me, like she said. And we're going to, uh, we might be going out of town because I told her, I says, well, you got the nice ride now, baby. So, you know, there's some good deals out of town for trucks and that. So I think we might go on a road trip. It'd be fun. I'll take you guys along. I won't go to the snow's all gone. <laughs> you heard that. So it looks like we're going to be going in July. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get past London here, the snow's like crazy. Yeah, it just happened the one time when we were going to get me a, or going to buy some instruments. As soon as we got to the London sign, there was a guy in the off to the medium. I says to her, slow down. Soon enough, she slows down. She was driving. There's a five-car pileup, and she drives right through the middle of it, and we can yell, hear this guy yelling out, you're the cause of the accident. It's like going in warp time. We drove. It wasn't, we weren't the cause. No, of we weren't the cause of the accident. We it was drove. Like going in another world. Yeah, we drove right through. She drove house. right through the accident because the cars were off to the side, right through the middle of it. I'm going to hit a transport truck. Yeah, and uh, I stopped out of the blue. Yeah, and we ended up. Uh, Thank you, God. Not getting in an accident. Somebody was watching over us. Oh yeah. I thought I wasn't going to stop. That's crazy. And then we find out later it was a 20 car pile up after. Because mm -hmm. you couldn't see anything. It was like a whiteout. Complete whiteout. Yeah. Count our blessings that day. And you know what it's like on the 401 if you live around here. That's a nightmare. And they can't see you. Oh, I can't see okay. your beautifulness. My goddess. My minivan owner. So we're going to go finish our sandwich up. And we're going to head to the thrift store. Uh-huh. And we might go... Well, do you want to go to Essex? No, we'll see. Or we can go to town. We're going to go buy our steak for our, our, our Valentine dinner. And to celebrate... Really, it's her celebration. So, we'll bring you guys along wherever we go. Right? Mm hmm. So, I'm still in the fog here. Mm hmm. We got foggy one and no fog two. <laughs> we'll be back. Bye. Okay, you guys. Bruce dropped me off and he's gone to his brother's. Uh, I'm tired. I just need to relax. I'm just tired and cold and the gloomy weather, the glare. Sometimes it bugs me. I'd rather have sunshine. Yeah. I'd rather have sunshine. Okay, I'll show you what we 
uh, we got at the thrift store. It's across the road from in Harrow there. It was not far, so we went. I got these gardening books. I've been looking at them. I just look at them and then I redonate them. It's uh, 50 cents each. So, and I'm looking forward to spring. <laughs> oh, I want to. I want to try and get. Um, like I bought that rose plant. My yellow roses were beautiful last year on the porch, so I got pink ones. I'm trying to get more of a um, perennial that will come back every year, and uh, that'll really attract the bees and the the hummingbirds. Yeah. So let's just show you. I got that. We didn't get a lot today. I got this. I'm not sure. Like. <laughs> Bruce wanted to get it. I, he said it's a little pan, I guess. I guess you can melt some butter in there for your popcorn. <laughs> eh? <laughs> yeah. And, oh, they didn't have much in there today. No chickens. But I did get a couple birds for uh, for my windowsill. I... I I really love having these birds on the windowsill. It's just sometimes I, I sit and stare at them. <laughs> this might be, I'm not sure what kind of bird that is, but it belongs on the windowsill. <laughs> I liked it. Yeah. It goes with my bird theme. Yeah. So I'm just sitting here looking at magazines, relaxing. I might fall asleep. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I feel that way. And then we got this bird here. She's cute. I almost thought she had a necklace on, but it's just a part of her. <laughs> and she'll go on the windowsill too. That's all I got. You know what? I've been reading also. This uh, cookbook I got last week. Um, I, it's a little story about her in the beginning. I didn't read it all yet because I had to go. We had to leave earlier. Um, she was really, really uh, uh, kind of depressed and stuff. And she really stayed in her home, her apartment. Well, her and her husband, they lost everything. They lost their house. They lost um, their house. Everything. They lost everything. And they had to move to an apartment. But, uh, See the glare in my glasses from this glare out there? Ah, oh, it drives me crazy. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I'm not my full self. I'm feeling real tired. Um, she, and she lost her mom and dad early, and she ended up having to raise, like, her brother who was 16. So she had to kind of raise him, and she had the you, you two, her two young kids, young she stayed in her apartment all the time. Never went out. Never. was it, Didn't want to go out. She'd get anxious if she'd have to go out. And that's how she taught herself how to cook. Because what else did she do in her house, in her apartment? There wasn't much to do. So she cooked a lot. And uh, that's where she learned to cook. And she, one day when she turned 40, she woke up and she said, I'm not staying in anymore. I'm not staying in I'm getting out, <laughs> but it took till 40, and then that's when she started her, her little business, yeah, but I didn't read it all, but I'm, uh, it's only about, only a few pages, but, yeah, but it's really interesting, I never knew that, about that, about her, yeah, the journey continues, it's called, yeah, it's about, uh, I don't know, five pages. One, two, three. Yeah, about five or six pages in the beginning. It tells about her. How she was really, uh, really trapped herself in her apartment and wouldn't go out for a lot of years until she was 40. Then she woke up and just said, That's enough, I'm getting out. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know, maybe some of you knew that already, but I didn't know that. 
Okay, I'm going to go rest and wait for Bruce to come home and uh, see if he'll cook the steaks. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll go from... We'll go from there. Right now, it's time to have a nap. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Yo, everybody. I just want to say good night. She forgot to end the video. Yes, we so have I'm going to be ending the video. Pizza. Yes. So tell them we're going to cook our steak tomorrow. Because we had Uncle Bill over for yes. dinner. And gonna they were doing things. Yeah, we're going to cook the I steak. I was sleeping. And being okay, crazy. Mom. Okay, Mom. <laughs> Anyways, just want to say good night. I know you like you people like seeing me, so good night, everybody. Tell them thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the comments, <laughs> and good night.